Sub-Zero can only be played with Chameleon. Unlike all the other characters, he needs her to even put up a fight with the top tiers. He's the worst character in the game. Sub-Zero can only be played with Serena. I know this because he's one of my mains. Back in Season 4, I destroyed every Sub-Zero Chameleon player in a mirror match. Natara is the same way. You can also make the argument and say she's the worst too. Even without Chameleon, you still have pretty decent tools and other cameos to work with. I genuinely believe the worst character isn't him. You're slow, but Tara literally controls the whole screen with her mobility, she's not worse than Sub. Sub is slow, his strings are not good, he has two good strings, and one of them skills and damage. Natara gets 40-45% to every combo, now show me what Sub's that kind of damage. If Sub's is so good, play him. You play Ermac and bitch about Sub-Z, it's just stupid. Alright, so a lot of people are saying all these things as you saw in the uh, in the intro right there, so obviously I'm going to be playing the most optimal Sub-Zero team as you can clearly see on the screen right here. Oh, okay, so we get a shout for this one. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Big Boy versus uh, Sub-Zero, this is going to be interesting. Okay, the Serena kind of screwed me up right there, not going to lie. Nice up block. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'm trying to get as much information as I can the first like possible game that I can. So let me just go for this. This is not going to be a lot of damage, but it's obviously better than nothing. All right, instant wake up. He didn't even like try to go for something. Here, establish this. No, not quite. We do this maybe. Pressure with my back forward too. Okay, nice. Let me just back dash. Establish the distance again. Okay, nice. Okay, it's not going to be a crazy combo, but it's definitely something, which is fine. Wake up again? No, not quite. Give me this. Yeah, whip punish. Here, here. Here, here. It's not going to be a lot. I don't think it's going to kill here, but it's definitely going to give me a situation in which the next hit can. Maybe. Okay, nice. He got hit by the low. This one is just chip, I think. Ooh, not quite. I didn't even chip out. I'm very surprised. Okay, nice. My down one is just so good, man. That down one with Sub-Zero is genuinely like one of the best down ones. The amount of range that move has is genuinely ridiculous. Alright, nice use of the Serena. From here. Okay, cool. Could have done my slide right there. I don't know why I didn't. Give me this. Go for a knockdown. Yeah, give me that. He's probably going to use the axe. Just keep a nice spacing game here. Okay. I actually tried to go for my um, my ice clone right there, but it didn't work out in time, unfortunately. Do this. No, my clone didn't come out in time. Nice. Bam, bam, bam. How much is it going to do? Oof, give me this knockdown. I prefer this better. Up block. Ooh, not even. Interesting. Thought he was gonna try to up block my jump in. That's why I went for that uh throw so I can get the throw punish. Very nice. Okay, nice. Down one again. Give me this. Side switch. Most likely gonna wake up. Let me just Ooh wow, he just woke up with Serena. Interesting. I respect it. Do this. Yeah, so the ice clone actually ate the first hit for me, which is very, very good. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do that. Okay, that's fine. I don't think this is gonna kill, but I think because of like the low hits, it's definitely giving me like less hit situation. I should have done uh, the back twos into it. I think that would have definitely been enough, but I just don't have that much uh, recognition yet with this character, but it's all good though. I'm not really too worried about it because I can just do something like this. Yeah, nice. I just had to play it very slow, very patient. I shouldn't have really as went in as crazy as I did right there, but... It got me the win anyways, that's all that matters with this uh, very, very top tier character. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, let me see. Alright. I need to zone a little bit with these ice balls. Do this. Throw this. Okay, nice. He's going to try to throw it again. Do this. Yeah, like, you just have to be very, very annoying when playing this character. Because somebody in the uh, comments, like how I showed off in the intro, somebody made the argument that oh every character in this game is defensive in their own way but i'm just like yeah you do have a point every character in this game does have defensive uh, options you are not wrong about that but with sub-zero specifically he thrives better than every other character simply because his way of playing his style is very annoying obviously i don't have the optimal cameo to be doing that i i feel like if you have maybe kung lao or serena like how the mention or how the person mentioned in the comments it'll be much more efficient but uh, to say you can't play like that is, uh, I don't know. To me, I don't believe it. I really don't. Jump, maybe. Oh, nice. I should actually try to whip punish. Okay, that's fine. Give me this. Very good. 
Okay, nice. He's gonna wake up. Oh, not even. Alright, it's not gonna kill, but... Yeah, he tried a neutral duck. Did you all see that? This is why it's very good to establish of using your highs and mids just to, like, mix them up a lot. See, here I go for the mid. Okay, nice throw. That was a nice throw. He reverses positioning, and he has three bars of meter. So next hit is gonna be terrifying. Nice. Oof, I thought he was gonna cancel into the, uh, the axe. Okay, that's smart. Very smart, very smart. I should've just waited. Get the knockdown, so I'm gonna just get out of here. Okay, cool, that's fine. No punish. Okay, nice. Give me this. Here, here, here. I don't know what the optimal is off of that. I'm just gonna go, like, based off feeling. I'm pretty sure I can jump and get, like, a jump in one, too, but I'm not too sure. Nice use of the low. Let me break. Do this a little bit just to, like, get him to slow down. Nice. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I don't think this is gonna kill. It's gonna be very close, though. Nice. No, sir. All right, I should have definitely confirmed that into my Fatal Blow. It's fine, though. Nice throw. All right, it's not going to kill me. It's going to be very close, though. I can still definitely take this 100%. Just so have to be very careful here. Okay, that's fine. Watch this. He thought I was going to go for a combo. Yeah, so he tried to break, so he was still holding block. Ooh, smart. Okay, I tried to go for a 1-2-2 two, two afterwards, thinking he was going to respect it, but he dashed in. Very smart, very smart. Do this. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Here, here. Okay, nice. He broke. That's fine. I got all the meter off of him. Now I don't have to worry about it. Okay, nice. Good stuff. Go for these jabs. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so, like, what you want to establish with them is just using your highs and your mids and obviously, like, you know, just being very, very annoying with them. Let me see. Yeah, you can't get a jump in one, too. Very nice. I didn't even know about that. Look at this. Even more damage. Almost 30. Yeah, 35% meterless. Look at that. That's crazy. But I guess Sub-Zero has no damage, right, ladies and gentlemen? I don't think he has any damage whatsoever, right? Nah, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero doesn't have any damage. Not at all. Not at all. 345, just like that? Nah. Nah, he doesn't have any damage. This character is this character is very bad, ladies and gentlemen. Nah. Even against this Shao? Nah, this Shao is not good. Despite him being a top tier character, he's just not good. Sub-Zero is just ass, right? Right? Is that the rhetoric we're going with? Okay, so this is the same guy I just fought because I guess nobody's playing ranked. I legit waited in the rank queue for maybe like four or five minutes trying to find a different match, but uh, I couldn't find anybody. So we just got the same guy again, which is fine. I don't mind. Like, this guy is really good, but like what, what I said in the first one, people just don't realize that, you know, you can be good with a character and not necessarily because like they're low tier or top tier. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, the fact that like if they're a good or bad character on the tier list matters. I'm not saying that doesn't. But unless you are playing at the highest levels of play in tournaments, wanting to win money and like get all that stuff, tier list really should not matter. I just enjoy talking about it because obviously like my chat and stuff on Twitch, they always ask me questions about which character do you think is good, which character do you think is bad, and like things of that nature, which is fine. I don't necessarily mind talking about it, but I feel like a lot of people delude themselves into thinking that the reason why they lose their matches is simply because their character is bad and not because of any other reason and i don't believe into that level that's just me though if you feel attacked or something about me saying that then i'm sorry but that's just the hard reality of the truth like unless you're using a character that quite literally doesn't work like if you're using uh kirby from super smash bros melee or like bowser then that makes perfect sense and if you don't know what i'm talking about then you have no idea like how bad a character in a fighting game can really be because those two characters, they literally don't even function properly. Like, their moves don't even exist. And unless you're using a character like that in a video game, then I feel like you really shouldn't be complaining too much. And the only reason why I say too much is because there are some things that genuinely need to be fixed in these games. Like, I'm not I'm not lying with you all. There are some stupid things in this game that shouldn't really exist that, that just persist. Which is fine, you know? That just exists in every other game. But to say, like, he's bad, he's the worst, you have to play him this way to win, and all that stuff, like, I don't I don't believe in that at all. He's probably gonna wake up, let me see. No, not quite. Oh, he actually got hit by it. Okay, I should have confirmed into it. Let me do this. Okay, nice. Okay. I just went on a little rant right there, so don't mind me too much, but I just had to get it off my chest. Because if there's one thing that annoys me, it's stuff like that. Like, even when I made my Natara video of me saying I'm dropping her, like, I'm dropping her in terms of using her in Rips Arena and stuff like that, because 
when people are competing at an event, which is an online tournament, obviously people are going to use the best characters. So obviously, I want to use a character that is still good, but I still also have fun with, you know what I'm saying? Like, there are people that still use Natara and stuff in tournaments and do good, but it's not necessarily like, uh, how should I say? That, like, the other player is bad or, like, any things of that nature. Like, they're just genuinely that good with the character, and there's nothing wrong with that. But me, personally, as much as I love Natara, like, I'm not really invested myself too much into the game to just lab out the game super hard like how I used to back in those days, which is fine, you know? I just want to play the game for fun and play it in my way, in which I enjoy, and I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. But to force people and say that you have to play in this style and all that stuff, I don't necessarily agree with. Like, when I say Sub-Zero is meant to be played defensive, I'm not saying you have to be playing Sub-Zero defensively. You can definitely play him offensively, which is why the Chameleon cameo is so strong with him. Because his offense is semi-decent, and the Chameleon cameo just makes it that much more scarier, if anything. Let me get this. Alright, he broke. It's fine. Over here, nice. Let me do this. Let me zone a little bit with this. Okay, nice. Give me this. Size 16 shoe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you see what I'm saying of like how annoying it is to deal with this character. It's very, very frustrating to deal with this. Give me the charge. Ooh, whiffed. Oh, I do have the three bars though. Let me do this. I wanted to get my fatal blow. Yeah, so if I do land the next hit, I should be able to just come back and kill him for it. Let me see. There's nine seconds left on the clock. I should be able to do it. Nice. Watch this. Oh, no. I tried to come in. Watch this. Ooh, nice, not in time. Alright, that's fine. If I had like one extra second, I could have gone for a potential mix-up and just gone for the kill, but it's all good. He got the first game, he got the first game. He definitely adapted to the last set compared to this one. I can already feel the difference. Okay, let's see, let's see. This time I gotta be a little bit more aggressive here. Just a little, little bit, not too much. I Like a little bit more balanced, because before I feel like I was playing a little bit too uh, defensive, which is consistent like sitting back not doing much but i feel like now i kind of have to turn up the pace just a little little bit yeah little things like this are definitely big help give me this here here bam bam nice nice all right cool let me go for this maybe okay nice keep it safe wake up maybe not quite oh wow down uh down four into just going for the special crazy crazy i respect it though i respect it let me see i think this is gonna kill me actually let me see not quite Nice, going for the sweep. Give me this. Let me just use the bar just so I can get out of the corner. Okay, cool, here, here. Yeah, let me push it closer to the mid screen. Maybe wake up. Ooh, no. Give me this. Nice, I'm going for a little gimmicky, gimmicky little reset right there. It's fine. Oh, no, I messed up the timing, unfortunately. That sucks. Okay, it's fine. He still had three bars, though. It wouldn't have killed... But it's the fact that, like, uh, it could have, should have, would have. That's more so what I think of it. Nice. We do this. Nice. Not enough range. Commit to the full string. All right, that's fine. Let me go for here. Do this. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Go for here. Set this up. Here, here, bam. Here, here. Knockdown. Very good. Go for the low. Nice. He caught my bluff. Okay, cool. Uh, should I go for it? Nah, not quite. Go for something. Yeah, I knew he was going to go for it. Nice. I had a feeling he was here, here. It's not going to kill, but let me just go for the bar anyways, just to do a lot of damage. Look at this, man. It's so good. Yeah, that string is so, so strong. It's not like the best string in the world. Okay, nice. I, I just took the trade at that point. It was nothing wrong with taking the trade, especially considering the life deficit or the life difference, rather. It's nothing too crazy. Do this. Ooh, nice. He actually didn't poke. I'm surprised. Is he going to confirm? Oh, so close. I almost died because of that. Nice. Good throw. All right. He threw me to the corner. His Serena is still charging up, so I can be a little bit more aggressive. Nice. Go for here. Nice. Good blocks. Go for the low. Not quite. Ooh, nice sweep. Nice. Give me this throw. Wow, this guy is like catching all of my staggers. He's actually kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. Is he going to break? Okay, nice. Very good. Do this. Do this. No, not quite. Do this again. Oh, no. My jump in one completely whiffed. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. Two, two. Down back. Down back three, right? I think that's what it is for Shao. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Even if I have no meter, it's not a problem with me. Oh, what was that lag spike? That was so weird. Okay, nice. 
Nice. All right, this guy knows. This guy knows. Very scary. Very scary. I'm gonna have to go for something ballsy and something very crazy. That's for sure. Okay, nice. I couldn't have a uh, armor through just because I would have died. Uh, nevertheless. I knew he was going to go for that. Give me this. Alright, this is my only chance right here. Here, here. Here, here. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no. That's fine. Ah, the little clock started ticking on the top of the screen, and I got so nervous. But it's all good, though. GG to the shell. He definitely adapted perfectly. I'm not going to lie. Ah, showing off the power of Sub-Zero, though. I love it. It's so good. Like, there's definitely good stuff you can do with this character, but obviously... When I'm not a main and I don't know all the options that he has, it's obviously a little bit different for me. Alright, going on with the last one. Kung Lao Goro, classic like little uh, meta team right here. We're going to see what I'm going to be able to do here. Just do this a little bit. Size 16 Chu. Nice. A little bit more zoning going on. Jump maybe? Not quite. Do this. Oh, no. I'll block. Interesting. Alright, he's probably going to wake up with something. No, not quite. Whoa! What was, <laughs> what was that roll back? Did anybody see that? That was crazy. Okay, that's fine. Let me do this, maybe? Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let me just sit back. Oh, the overhead. Oops, it whiffed. Let me sit back. Okay, no. Yeah, give me that. I knew he was going to hit a button afterwards. He always does that. Here. Bam, bam. It's not going to kill, but going to give me the corner, which I'd argue is way better. Okay, yeah. He just accepted it. He just let go of block. That's fine, though. That is completely, completely fine. Uh... Let me see, catch a jump maybe? Okay, no, not quite. Okay, that's fine. Interesting. Interesting how I reacted to the down one. He just went for a throw directly afterwards. Do this. Ooh, he just completely jumped over it. Come here. Nice, he caught my staggers as well. Very nice. Back to four. One, two, aura. Oh, shit. Give me this. Commit to the full string. All right, fine. Wow, why did I let go block? Let me break right here. I'm easily going to be able to gain my meter back, so it's not really an issue for me. He zoned a little bit. Oops. That hits. Do this. Use my ice cone as like a little shield so he can't just throw his hats at me all willingly. Watch this. Yeah, nice. Oh, you see how he tried to push, uh, push a button afterwards? Very interesting. You have to notice these little things. Nice, I'm safe. Okay, he's safe afterwards, so that's fine. Oh, no, that bites. Let me see. Nice. Oh, the throw. I think that's going to kill because that does uh, 11, right? Wow, I'm barely alive by a pixel, literally. Yeah, but that EX back forward too is just too strong. Too, too strong right there. All right, let me see. Let me zone a little bit with the hats. Jump over. Nice up block. Very nice. Good reaction as well. It's going to get to confirm with the Goro. Oh, I don't think that's going to work. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm getting mixed. All right, it's all good. Let me see. Jump. So for this, nice, he got hit. Overhead, nice blocks. Okay, that's fine. Oops, he dropped it. Commit. Go for a low. Nice. Go over here. Whoa. Whoa, what was... <laughs> I tried to go for a uh, for ice ball right here. Yeah, so I could catch that. Bam, bam. Come here, here, here. Get you to the corner. Thank you. Let me do this just to keep myself safe. Or not. Whoa, I've never seen that wake up before in my entire life. What the hell was that? Okay, yeah, why did I go for that? Why did I go for that? Knowing he has Goro on him. I should have paid more attention. From here. Okay, no, not quite. Oh, man. Oh, he committed. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That string 2 1 2 was so good with Kung Lao. The way he could just stagger it. When I did that one Kung Lao video. I was having so much fun with the character. Yeah, but it's all good, though. Like, Kung Lao Goro is still so strong. I don't know why more people don't use this team. Like, I'm not even lying to you all. Like, Kung Lao Goro is so damn, like, strong and annoying to play. It's literally like Tanya Goro, but, like, even more annoying. Simply because of, um... Whatchamacallit? Ooh, that's a punish. Give me that. Wow, wake up again. What, do I, what did I expect? I shouldn't expect any less. Let me see. Knock down. Oh, the overhead. I was blocking low. Okay, that's fine. It's not gonna work. Get this. Nice. Good blocks. Why did I let go of block? Okay, that's fine. Ooh, give me this. Perfect. And I get the recharge with the Shujinko. Come here. Here, here. Bam, bam. Give me this. Perfect. Watch this. Yeah, I knew he was gonna go for something like that. Damn, no recovery on that move, huh? 
here, here. Very simple. Oh, I dropped it. Okay, it's all good. I did the slide a little bit too fast, I believe. Do this. Do this. Jump, maybe? Not quite. If he jumps for something, I'm going to try to react with Fatal Blow. Yeah. I don't think that punishes. Oh, it does barely in time. All right. Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> I could have definitely just used my 2-1 EX down forward 4 and then go for my simple B&B, &B, but it's all good. I'd rather just get a guaranteed kill because he was close to getting three bars. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I can definitely do this comeback, though. Three bars is a lot of meter to play with the substitute. Around. Like, a lot, a lot. I just have to be a little bit more aggressive. See, because my, my issue is I'm playing defensive with him against a character that just kills me, like, on offense. You know what I'm saying? Like, his defensive options to get around my clone and stuff like that is actually pretty decent. He has the hat, and he can also just do that. Uh, the dive kicks, which is just very strong for him. So, yeah, I have to be very careful here. Yeah, you see that? I just have to move around, like, his space, but just barely out of range so that I don't get punished. I doubt he's going to wake up again, but still, yeah, it's Kung Lao players, you never know. Nice! Good neutral belt. That was very nice. So eating this damage isn't really, like, too scary for me, just because, you know. Obviously, I have three bars I can break. And if I do hit him, he's going to be close to death. Nice. Okay, and let me just break right here. Perfect. Now, we just have to gain all that meter back. Jump, maybe. Ooh, nice. Go for this. Okay, it's fine. Wake up. No, not quite. Let me down two. And then this is just chip. Yeah, that's just chip at that point. <sighs> I'm slowly getting more accustomed to Sub-Zero, though. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm slowly remembering all the different strings, like back three and back three, four. Because I wasn't doing that, like, at all in my other matches. I was just relying on staggering with one, two, and uh, forward one and stuff like that. So I definitely have to start mixing up my options just a little bit more. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, I can do good with this one. We do this. Wow, the instant micro duck. Did anybody notice that? Holy shit, that was crazy. Nice, let me see. Let me just delay wake up. Oh my god, the low. So good, so good. Okay, nice. He has another Goro, though. I have to be very careful here. Just as I say that. I said I have to be very careful and I still get hit by it. Give me this. Okay, cool. He's probably... Oh, no, he's not going to wake up because uh, he has no Goro there. So he has to respect all of this. Jump. Okay, nice. Go for my low. Nice. Yeah, I knew he was going to go for that. Let me just do this. Oh, no. Okay, he didn't have the girl on time, which is good for me. Backdash. Play a little bit more of like a spacing game here, just so I can gain my meter back. Oof, nice hands out here. Very nice. Go for the knockdown. He's probably going to wake up. Not quite. Okay, that's fine. Oof, no, that's not good. Nice, give me this. Okay, cool. I can definitely make this comeback. It's very scary, though. Let me see. Do it again? Yeah, I knew he was going to go for that. Nice. Let me keep it simple. Okay, perfect. Jeez, man. I really had to be quiet right there. Because this Kung Lao loves to go a lot for uh, his highs. He doesn't really like to poke as much with him. I don't know why. Kung Lao's pokes are pretty decent, in my honest opinion. Especially in a situation like that. Where you really just need, like, poke damage is really nothing too crazy to worry about. Oh, man. I keep doing that. I forgot. Like, Shujiko in this matchup isn't really too helpful in terms of, like, combos and stuff. But what it does give you is, like, safety off of your overhead if you're not really too comfortable in hitting it. Oh, no. Nice. Nice call out. Bam, bam. Oh, he whiffed it, unfortunately. Oh, that mid, though. So good. Oh, we went for the optimal, too. He dropped it. Okay, it's fine. Block. For here. Okay, I thought he was going to try to dash in, maybe. Do it again. Perfect. Dash in, maybe. Do this. Okay, that's fine. Negates itself. Do it again. Oof, no. Let me do this. Yeah, nice. Nice. He's just using the hat now. Just his own. Which I respect. There's 30 seconds left on the clock. I can still make this comeback. I just be very, very patient. Now he has no bar. Very good for me. Watch this. <gasps> he just... Okay. Wake up throw. That's ridiculous. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no. I can definitely still win this. Actually, I think that's death. Like, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I think he's dead right here. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's legit death because this is 400. Yeah, oh, my God. What a comeback. What a crazy way to come back. Holy shit. GG's to this guy, though. Like what I said, unless you're playing at the very highest levels of play, tier list really shouldn't matter to you unless the character you're playing is quite literally broken. And when I say broken... I literally mean that the character does not function properly. That's all I have to say. Hopefully, you all enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all 
in the next one. Take care.